good morning actually uh, senior citizens protection act maintenance and well of welfare of parents and senior citizen act so far we come across uh, that uh, the parents choose to evict uh, selected son choose to claim maintenance against selected son and so far maintenance cases the uh, domestic violence cases are concerned the courts are uh, uh, with the view that uh, it is up to the claimant uh, to choose any of the sons but here the madhya pradesh high court seems to have given different judgment uh, about uh, other sons liability and also mandatory for conciliation proceedings so this is ar 2022 madhya pradesh 138 Sunil Kondla versus Competent Authority and Sub Divisional Officer Madhya Mahalkanj area Indo. There they say uh, they have considered rules of uh, senior citizens and also Senior Citizen Act Section four five six thirty two. Claim for after issuance of notice of prejudice who are son and daughter in law of respondents they were furnished copy of complaint. They say. Uh, Uh, the, the parents three sisters and one brother all of them were also liable to mem it was incumbent upon tribunal to have issue notice to other children of claimants and also refer parties for conciliation before proceeding further here this case was uh, uh, went to uh, division bench after uh, the single judge judgment so uh, the uh, uh, the conciliation is must they say conciliation is must and also uh, it was uh, uh, the tribunal ought to have issued Uh, notice to the other children also that we have to allow the appellants to lead evidence in the matter then find the record of the writ court that there was no need to record evidence just not find force so they say there must be an evidence that was they say that also a, a different uh, version so far we have faced because they, they, they nobody is uh, taking evidence they are only holding an inquiry here i at paragraph 22 of ea 2022 madhya pradesh 138 sunil konda versus compound authority case they say uh, the the tribunal ought to allow the appellant to lead evidence in the matter and thus finding recorded by the writ court that there was no need to record evidence does not find force in the light of the aforesaid provisions of law therefore they have also Uh, deeply discussed uh, about uh, the provisions why the evidence should be recorded so kindly go through the entirety of the judgment uh, wherein uh, the entire uh, major provisions were uh, discussed hmm? under section 12 uh, what to do after receiving conciliation report they say under section 62 the tribunal shall have all the powers of a civil court for for the purpose of taking evidence on oath or, and of enforcing evidence therefore they say uh, the single judge uh, finding that uh, no need to evidence was not correct so kindly go through this judgment very fantastic judgment and uh, let us hope what will be the finality after uh, similar cases reaches the apex court uh, and there may be guidelines let us hope best but however still then you can keep the judgment best wishes this is by subodh jayankar and satyendra kumar singh jj